Alrighty, there will be timestamps in the description. I will also link a bunch of my own customized settings in the description, in case anybody wants to check those out. But in this video, I'm going to go over the three questions that I've seen the most people have about the Cyber Lab shaders, being how can I turn the brightness up, how can I turn off the intro sequence, and how can I turn off the border. Alright, so I'm going to show you what you have to know. Alright, go to Mega Bezel Packs and do what you would typically do. Just select any shader you want. My personal favorite shader is the Cyberlab underscore composite pure underscore ABD shader. This one right here. I actually am not a big fan of the default settings of this shader. But the reason why I like this shader so much is because I feel like it is a good shader to use as an example if you want to change the settings of it. Alright, so when you have your shader applied, you want to go down to shader parameters. And if you want to turn off the border, here's what you want to do. All right, so scroll down a little bit until you find this setting. Under aspect ratio, you'll find type auto explicit 4332, 16 by 9 par and full. What you want to do is set this to full, like that, and that will get rid of the border. Now, if your shader looks like this when you set the full, that is because the aspect ratio is set to 16 by 9. If you want to make sure it's not all stretched, then you want to make sure the game is set to a proper aspect ratio. So here's what you can do. You can open up the Retro Arch menu again. You can go to Settings, Video, go down to Scaling, go to Aspect Ratio, and if if, if this is at 16 by 9 or, or, or full, then you want to change this to Core Provided instead, and that might fix the issue. If that still hasn't fixed the issue, then if you go to the game you're playing, there should be an option called Core Options, and there should be an option somewhere that allows you to adjust the aspect ratio like this as well. All right, now I'm going to show how to turn off the intro sequence. This is the little animation that plays every time you start a game with the Mega Bezel shader on. So I'll go to Shaders again, go to Shader Parameters, and this is a very tricky setting to find. In my opinion, this should be a setting at the top, but no, it's actually like at the very bottom. Go so push up so you get transported to the bottom. Then you want to keep scrolling up. It is a tricky setting to find, but it is here somewhere, and you will find it eventually. It's here somewhere. A little hard to find. It's quite a ways up. And there it is. There it is. Okay, so this option right here, you want to turn that to zero, and that will turn the intro sequence off. And finally, I'm going to show how to make the shader brighter. This is probably the setting that most people want to see, so this setting is at the very top, and right there. It's this setting. See, isn't it, isn't it brighter? Turn that to five and it'll be a whole lot brighter. I turn it to 1, it's it's incredibly dark. Turn it to 5, it's a lot brighter. So, yeah, that's the setting for increasing the brightness. Very simple setting. Gamma out and gamma in are also fun to play with. I like to set these to 2.4 and 2.4 like that. Because I, I think it makes the colors look very nice. But this is really up to the player. You can change these settings to anything you want. But these settings are the ideal settings for changing the brightness. See, now it's all dark because I made it darker. Anyway, when you have the settings that you want, in order to save the shader, you want to go back, and above shader parameters, you'll find a setting called save. You want to click save, save shader preset as, and you can name it whatever you want. You can name it uh, probably custom or, or something, so you know that this is your custom shader, and then press the start button, and then Retro Arch will freeze a little bit, but that indicates that your shader is being saved. And whenever you want to use that shader you just saved, you want to select, remember last use shader directory, you want to turn that off, and then you want to go to load. And your shader will be in the main area here somewhere. So see, here's the shader we just made. You just select that. Wait for it to load. And bam, there is your CyberLab shader without an intro sequence and no border and it's nice and bright it is not incredibly dark anymore and uh, yeah i hope this video helped people get the settings that they want